Hey guys, what's up? Maya here, and today we're going to be playing some Starforge, which is a new indie game, and it's in alpha at the moment. This is the first release they've ever done. It is free, and before I get started, I'm just going to say there is a download link in the description, so if you guys just want to jump into this and play, you know, go right ahead. But in this video, I'm just going to be showing some of the things off with it, I guess. Uh, I don't think you can do huge amounts at the moment. Uh, I've played a little bit and haven't seen enemies come unless you actually spawn them. So, you know, there's not going to be heaps for us to do if all we can do is spawn enemies. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try build my own little house, try make a turret, you know, turrets on the top. Because as you can see here, we've got laser turrets, rocket launchers, you know, things like that. So I'm going to be placing those down. And, you know, hopefully having a pretty good bunker that we can use to defend ourselves against the overgrown caterpillars. So, let's get started. Done. Alright. So we need to enter build mode. So that's two. But first, I actually wanted to try out the digging. So this is what's really cool about it. This game is kind of like a combination of Minecraft and Terraria. And maybe even a little bit, you know, if I can get the gun out. Kind of like Cable a bit. So, you know, you get the awesome guns. You're fighting off space aliens. So if I can just get back into build mode and delete that turret. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to delete that turret. But that's cool. But yeah, as you can see, you know, you can kind of just build these huge chasms. Uh, at the moment, I don't think there's any use to it. I think we have unlimited construction tools at our disposal. And the game does actually look better when you play it, but uh, the optimization at the moment isn't the best, so I actually have to run it on low just so, you know, I can play it and show it off to you guys. Oop, turret didn't like that. Down the chasm you go. Now, there is, there is kind of a plan to this. What I was thinking was, you know, we have this huge chasm, and then on the opposite side of it, we have our house. So when the zombies or the caterpillars or whatever they are start running towards us, you know, they've got to go through this big ditch. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but, you know, I just wanted to try it out. Now, another thing we can also do is cut down these trees. Now, I th think that is... Hold on, let, let's just open up the guide because, you know, I've only played this game for a few minutes. So aim cursor at the tree and hold left mouse button to chop. Okay, so we done. Oh, how cool is that? Can't do that in Minecraft. Alright, so let's let's try cut this tree up a little bit now. Oh! Okay, so you can actually go along once it's done and turn it into wood. And some of these actually look like they're good for fire, and some of the bigger ones, like that, actually look like they could be useful for building. Can we pick them up at all? I don't think we can pick them up at this point in time, but, you know, when resource gathering is a thing, I'm sure they'll be very, very useful. So, let's head back over to our crappy little hole in the ground, and let's, let's try build something. So, I've just brought up the build menu there, and... Unfortunately, all of the icons go pixelated when you lower the graphics, but even when they weren't pixelated, uh, I had no idea what each of these ones was. So... It doesn't look like it was that one. So let's, let's just try a different one, and perhaps that one there. Okay, there we go. That that looks alright. That's... What do we got there? Okay, that looks like brick. And that's exactly what we wanted. So, let's just go along. Build our brick wall. And it's going to get a little bit... Crooked against the wall. But, you know, it's not too bad. And there we go. Okay, so we've got our... We've got our wall set up for our house. Now, ideally I would like to make a floor, but I'm scared that as soon as I start removing everything like this, it's going to make it really difficult. You know, we'll just see what happens. 
Oh god, what happened there? Okay, that's 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 good enough. That's a start. It's it's not exactly pretty, but you know we're still learning. And there we go. That actually looks like it's going to work all right. Um, we're not going to be able to fill everything in. Ow, that would have hurt a lot. But perhaps. Oh, what do you know? It actually does look like we're going to be able to fill it all in. That's awesome. I probably didn't need to terraform all of this land then. I probably just needed to do it to one and then, you know, we would have been set. But that's cool. Okay. So I'm back and we have the first level of our building kind of done. Uh, about halfway through, our turret that we put in the ground, it actually started firing off and these things are automatically controlled. So if I can just, god damn, land on one of these, one of these rocks. There you go. You guys should be able to see off in the distance that Actually, some enemies have spawned on their own. And, you know, it's pretty far away. It actually looks like a giant ant or something like that. But, you know, just in preparation, we should probably hurry up a little bit and actually start building up our towers. So, now we have the fun job of trying to jump onto another another one of these rocks without... Oh, wow, that time I jumped over it. We are not a coordinated species. I will... I will say that much. There we go. Okay, we're on top. Awesome. Let's, let's, let's keep building this now. And on top of it, we're going to start placing some turrets just to deal with these enemies. Okay, so that should do. Um, now I just want to go through, make sure I pick the right command. Uh, we'll take the laser turret and the rocket launcher. So five and six is what we need. So I'm not exactly sure how placement is going to go about these. Holy crap. Okay. So it places them automatically in front of your face, which is a little bit scary. But hello, rocket launcher. Now what I'm really looking forward to is when those rockets actually destroy the land and blow up the trees. That's going to be awesome. And let's, let's add one more over this side. And yeah, you know what? I think we're pretty well fortified at the moment. So, if I push zero... There we go, that's actually spawning monsters. I apologize for the frame rate here. There we go. Oh! Oh! Ah! No! Jesus! I think... I think I'm being eaten by one of them. I did not mean to spawn this many. Okay, so we've finally got some settled ground, but it looks like... It looks like those things are actually grabbing onto us and throwing us around. So I'm just gonna fucking flee. 
And that's actually really cool. You can actually get knocked over by the enemies in this game. That's awesome. So thankfully, we had infinite health and our laser and rocket turrets were able to defend us in time. But yeah, with that, I'm going to end the video here. It's getting a little bit laggy now that we've got these extra turrets. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy this game. So, you know, I'll see you guys for another video if that's what's required.